Hey guys, what's going on? Jay, we're here today. Welcome back. Today's going to be a different video than normal. Uh, so, I got a video taken down, and, you know, I'm not I'm not mad about it. This video is like three years old, and I had like no views. But this video was, as you should see on the screen now, it says, what was called Where I've Been, which was the video I made. Oh, I had like 60 subscribers, and I felt the need to talk about where I've been, because I've been off for like three months because of some things and I looked at it and looked where they said something. It says this, they think that this content violates their medical information policy. Now I don't want to get into a fight with YouTube over this, but I didn't, I don't think I violated anything. I didn't spread any misinformation. I don't see how this would have done that. What I said was that I have a family member who had a complication when getting the COVID vaccine and inevitably she ended up dying. Now, that apparently is right where it says, nine minutes, 25 seconds. Apparently that's misinformation, but it's not, it's just what, something that happened. And that happens to with all vaccines. It happens with the flu vaccine. My mother had a complication with the flu vaccine when she got it and she had to have it extracted out of her because she got extremely sick and started hallucinating. This happens with all vaccines. I don't. I don't know why, like, this kind of just proves theorists, like, the conspiracy theorists out there that's like, oh, uh, they're just covering stuff up. There's problems with every vaccine. I don't know a single vaccine that has never had anyone have a complication with it. I know people have had complications with the chickenpox vaccine, with the flu vaccine, all the vaccines that you could probably think of. I probably know someone who's had a complication with it. And... That's because no vaccine is perfect. Nothing's perfect. You can't make a perfect vaccine that no one's going to have a complication with. But they decided, because I said there was a complication with it, that that's misinformation and they have to take it down. Which, this just looks like a cover-up. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying, I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying that this isn't right but yeah i think the way i looked at it and i think the way that i said it was probably hard to understand i was just saying it's she had a complication with it and she ended up dying what from what appeared to be the complication and there didn't seem to be any other reason but that's all i was saying i didn't go into any detail with it i just said that that in a different phrase so I think, I think just a misunderstanding. I don't care if they put the video back up or not. And if they take this video down, I'm assuming they're not going to. This video came out two or so years ago of mine. It, I doubt that they're going to remove this one in several years. It took them two, three years to find that and say, no, this is bad. So either somebody that works there on that team it's just like, no, this can't be right. This is like, they're fully like the vaccine is perfect and they're stupid or someone and just realized it was in there and it's like, it's their policy or something. But I doubt that. I bet it's probably either the misunderstanding or somebody was just, oh, the vaccine's perfect. This couldn't have happened. This is a lie. So I'm just going to put this up and see if it gets taken down. If it does, and y'all have seen it before, you come back, you notice, oh, this video is missing. Something happened. They might be covering it up. Still, that doesn't prove it. That just means that there's somebody stupid at their company, which makes sense because there's someone stupid at YouTube for sure. This It's a multi-billion dollar company. There's going to be a couple of stupid people. There's thousands of people who work there. So other than that, hope you're all... Doing great. This is Jacob War. Signing off.